What's going on guys? We just got some very big live action news, so I thought I'd hop on the camera and just give my thoughts on it. So today is the first day of Netflix's Geek Week event, which is going over a lot of the new projects coming to Netflix in the future, one of them being One Piece. And I think a lot of people were expecting something more like a trailer, but from what we know so far, they've only finished filming the first two episodes, so it's gonna be a while before we get a first look or a teaser trailer. But we still got a really cool behind the scenes look at some of the ships that they've been working on for the series. We got a lot of really cool concept art for Alvita's ship, the Baratier, uh, Party's Bar and Windmill Village, and even a little bit of Shanks' ship, which I really wish we got more of, but it still looks really good. We also finally got a full view of what the Going Merry will look like, which I know at first threw a lot of people off due to the slight changes in design. However, I'm really starting to warm up to the design the more I see it in set. I think my favorite out of all of these designs is the Baratier. It just looks amazing to me. Like, just the way they constructed it, the way they made it look, it really looks like something something you would see out of a, like a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. It just looks fantastic. It's really cool to see all of these real life props and I cannot wait to see how they implement them in the show, especially with CG and color grading and the actors in their costumes. It's gonna look great. On some other news, we actually got eight new cast members. Yes, eight, not six. I know if you were watching the Netflix Geek Week event, there was only six revealed, but earlier in the week, we actually got two more roles confirmed for the show. Those two being the mayor from Orange Town and Full Body's girlfriend or a date, or probably ex-girlfriend after Sanji embarrassed him. The other six casting announcements we got today, I actually think are really, really cool. First up, we have Alexander Maniatis as Clahodor, which I think he looks really, really good. He definitely has that kind of evil vibe to him, which I could see playing out really well in the season. We also have Captain Morgan being played by Langley Kirkwood, which definitely looks like an interesting cast. I'm excited to see how he pulls it off in the season. We also have Celeste Lutz playing Kaya, Usopp's potential love interest later on in the series, maybe? But I think she looks great for the role. She doesn't have blonde hair, but I don't think that matters too much. I'm not going to nitpick on that. I'm really excited to see her and Jacob's chemistry, especially when we get those scenes in Syrup Village. The next three are some pretty major roles, with the first one being Kiyoma Umela playing Nojiko. Something that really stood out to me in the manga and anime when first being introduced to Nojiko as a character is the sheer badass vibe you get from her. And I can really feel that from this actor just by this picture. You kind of get that feel of cool, calm, collected, and just badass girl energy all around. Next up, we have Chef Zef being played by Craig Fairbris. Out of all of these new casting announcements, I think he looks the most similar to his respective character. I mean, take away the long mustache and the chef's hat, and he's like, <laughs> he's literally Chef Zef. I am very, very excited to see him in his role, but I am even more excited to see Mihawk being played by Stephen Ward during the Baratier episode, or episodes. This picture of him really does give me Mihawk vibes, and I want to do some more research on his acting career before I jump into my next video. Not only that, but if you put him next to Peter Gaddia, Shanks' actor, I feel like you kind of feel a chemistry there already. I really would love to see some concept art of that duo with their respective actors. We also got a really cool look on the Going Merry with Luffy himself, along with the showrunners Steve Maeda and Matt Owens. For those of you guys who missed the live event on Netflix, I'm going to go ahead and play what they showed right now. Hello everyone, I'm Iñaki Godoy and I play Luffy in One Piece. Hi, I'm Steve Maeda, I'm the showrunner of One Piece. And I'm Matt Owens, showrunner. And as you can see, we're here in South Africa bringing One Piece to life. Uh, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of some of our massive sets. As the biggest One Piece fan, it's been really exciting seeing some of my favorite places from the manga become a reality. All right, enough talk. Roll the clip! Roll it! Oda's world is so unique. Seeing all of this stuff in person, being able to reach out and touch it has just been such an experience. Our crews down here in South Africa are incredible and it's been so rewarding to see them taking Oda's world and bringing it to life. Because of the level of detail and attention that goes into all of these sets, they take a good amount of time. I mean, right now we're building Arlong's map room and it's already been a couple of weeks, but it's a big build because it's a really important location. A lot of drama goes down in there. A lot of action goes down in there. So we have to get it just right. I love all the ships, but Baratier is massive. It is iconic. It is surrounded by floating docks, along with a bar inside the fish mouth, which is going to be Zoro's favorite spot in those uh, episodes. At the end of it all, I'm most excited to just be able to share this world with old fans and new. We get to go to work every day and walk on these massive sets and see these characters come to life. It's a really special experience and a privilege, and we can't wait to share it with you. 
Choma Umuela will play Nojiko. Celeste Lutz will be Kaya. And Alexander Manianis will be Clahador. And we'll have Langley Kirkwood as Captain Morgan. Plus Craig Fairbress as Chef Zeph and Stephen Ward as Mihawk. Okay, come on, that's hype as fuck. I know a lot of people were expecting a little bit more, but I'm totally satisfied with that. I'm so happy we got closer looks at the ships. I'm so happy we finally got to see who's playing Mihawk and Zeph. A lot of people were like, put Gordon Ramsay as Zeph, which would have been funny, but that was never gonna happen, let's be real. I'm sorry guys, I haven't been posting as much lately. I've been dealing with a lot of technical difficulties behind the scenes with my computer, software. I've been trying to start live streaming, but it just gets fucked up every single time I try. I probably won't start live streaming until I actually have decent internet but this announcement has made me very excited i hope it has made you guys excited too if you want more of the latest news on the one piece live action please subscribe leave a like and ring that bell so you never miss a new video i have one coming out this week so look forward to that and if you're interested to learn more about the live action i've documented pretty much everything on my channel you can start off with this video right here